So this is the Mighty Gumball Burst DLC character, Call. You'll probably recognize her from uh, Mighty Number no. 9. Call starts with a pretty impressive shot blocking shield, which you can hold up for up to six seconds, and then it'll take another six seconds to recharge. It completely blocks almost any regular kind of shot from enemies. Uh, it does not block physical contact, though. You'll still take damage from that. And unlike other regular skills, there is no need to uh, charge it. It just automatically recharges as, as soon as it's depleted. It won't recharge when it's not depleted, though, so be careful of that. Another interesting feature of Call is she collects these little robot friends, which shoot out an attack for her. The red one just shoots out regularly and has the fastest speed and goes the furthest distance because it doesn't have any special abilities. The blue one homes in on enemies and is quite effective, but is a little bit slow and doesn't go as far as the other two. And the yellow one is sort of your boss killer one. It goes about a medium distance, but once it hits an enemy, it will loop back and forth on that enemy and keep hitting it repeatedly. So that makes it pretty fun for bosses. The one annoyance that the patch robots have is that they can activate, they can defeat enemies, and if you're far away from the enemy, you won't get the burst. So if you're score hunting, you might want to turn those off, which you can actually do in Customize. You can just turn off, well, you turn on awaiting orders and they stop attacking. Uh, that won't remove them from play or anything, they just stop appearing. Another really cool feature, my favorite feature of Call, is that she has a costume change option. Once you play through the game, you'll unlock up to three optional costumes. These are actually from the Kickstarter. Um, there was a big poll of which design Call should have. This is Call... which Call is that? I forget which call these ones are. One is A. I think that's call A. That's call H, I think. But my personal favorite is call E, so it's really exciting for me to be able to have a game where call E is a thing. And they're fully animated and everything. You can also turn off the bear if you want. It costs 100 CP. It's a pretty good skill, though. Um, call also has two different aerial actions that you'll unlock. Call has hovering and mid-air dash. The mid-air dash is just like Bex. It uh, just kind of does what you'd expect. You can only do one mid-air dash, and uh, she has hovering, which lasts up to four seconds and just kind of slows your fall and lets you cover a wider horizontal distance. So let's go see what the patch robots do to a boss, shall we? I'd say Call is a pretty effective and a pretty easy character to use. She doesn't have any complicated or difficult mechanics, and her skill is very useful her uh, barrier skill. The patch robots can help deal a little bit of extra damage. They can be a little annoying, like I said, if you're going for a high burst count, uh, you should probably turn them off. I didn't have any trouble scoring all S ranks in hard mode with her, so it's not like you need to turn them off to get a decent score, but to get the absolute best possible score, you'll want to turn them off, because they will eventually mess up your burst. But yeah, here you can see the blue one's kind of homing in, and now the yellow one is looping in on it. The yellow one does not do that much damage, I just happen to be dealing elemental damage times three. So, it didn't die that fast because of the yellow guy. He is useful. I forgot to turn off my damage multiplier. He is useful, and you'll see their effectiveness a lot higher uh, when you don't have any of the damage buffs on. And they also don't cost any CP to use her patch robots, so they're basically free damage. So, at a lower level of play, Call is probably the easiest character to play as. She's quite effective. And, uh, she's just pretty good all around. Nothing really wrong with her. Doesn't have any unusual quirks like uh, Ray does. And that's pretty much what there is to see. The patch robots will appear in different spots in every stage. They're manually placed. You'll usually get three. There is one stage where you can get up to four. But, uh, it doesn't really make a huge difference. So, that is Call.